Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. I am so excited about this, you have no idea. If any of you are new here and don't know this, Fire Emblem Three Houses is basically what launched my channel. My Blue Lions playthrough was the first series on YouTube that ever gained any traction. And uh, for that reason, you know, that game, the Blue Lions, the whole thing means a lot to me. So I am extremely excited to be getting this game. From what I understand, it's going to be sort of a alternate timeline or an alternate history um, that breaks off from the regular game. So instead of being an actual sequel, like something like Persona 5 Strikers, um, which was a also a fantastic game, um, this one is going to be a little bit more akin to uh, Age of Calamity, where it's sort of like an alternate story that goes down a different timeline path. At least that's the way I understand it. Now, you're going to notice that this says demo, but I'm going to be treating this like a regular playthrough. That's because what we play here is going to roll over into the main game when it comes out later this month. So we're going to be playing this as if this is our regular playthrough. And from what I understand, from what we've been told, we're going to be able to get through chapter four of each of the three different paths. So the paths in this game are called the Scarlet Blaze for the Black Eagles, Azure Gleam for the uh, Blue Lions, and Golden Wildfire for the Golden Deer. So, if any of you know my playthrough of the original game, there is a full playlist that you can find down in the description down below, but it is the ultimate playlist of Three Houses. It's like 330 plus hours that goes through every single bit of content that you can experience in that game. So if you have not seen that, go and check that out if you want to. Um, I, I understand you can, you can pick and choose what you want to watch because 330 plus hours of content is a lot. But I'll tell you what, I had a, I had a lot of fun playing that game. And uh, I'm really happy to continue it here. So let's get into it. Let's see, what do we got here? So we are going to be getting the full version, day one, when it comes out. What's in extras here? That's where settings are, that's odd, okay. Enemy HP gauges, we'll leave that on for now. Level up windows all on, okay. Oh, look at that, player unit only or all off. So that means that we're gonna have a lot of people running around and getting their own experience kind of passively as well. That makes sense. Subtitles are on. We're gonna be doing the English VO. Hopefully we can trigger that on and off. Um, during the actual dialogues, like we can in the base game. Prompt save after battles is on, okay. Okay. Alright, let's get into it. We're going to be playing on hard for experienced players who like a challenge. And we're going to be playing on classic. Fallen units are lost forever. Chapter 4 onward. Every decision counts. Okay. Interesting. So I'm guessing that the first chapters are kind of like treated in a similar way as like the first chapter of, or I think it's like the second chapter, where you have the mock battle, where the people that you lose don't actually count. Um, because it's a mock battle, you're not actually killing anybody. So I wonder if that's what's going on here. Um, so it says chapter 4 onward. So basically we don't have to worry about that too much in these beginning chapters. But let's go into it. Let's see. Quick and efficient or slow and steady? This is interesting. Take more time to examine strategic information like level up stats, mission briefs, and mid-battle tutorial windows. Or keep the action flowing, turning off level up windows and mission briefs. Uh, -uh I like slow and steady. I am way too meticulous. Um, slow and steady wins the fight. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be looking at all of those screens. We're gonna make sure that we know what we're doing. Um, that's the way that I play strategy games. Is I'm pretty like uh, I wouldn't say that I'm a slow player necessarily, but I am a detailed player. Let's put it that way. I, I want to know exactly what's going on. Okay, so we have eight different files. That's good.
Okay, let's go. There's a girl, Saros. Looking like a bad. Oh my gosh. Is the tutorial gonna be us playing this fight? That would be so cool. I would absolutely love that. I better not get my hopes up because I would love to play this fight as Saros, but I don't know if they're gonna do that. Okay, we got the Saints. Uh, that was the turtle guy. Was that. M I, I forget their names. Oh, hey, girl. All this bloodshed. Oh. Will it never come to an end? I love Flame. She's a great character. I know you're napping around here somewhere. On your feet and back to work already, yeah? The uh, near imperial finally. border, Alliance Come on, territory. Sunshine. Up and at him. Gets. So we are going to be playing as female Shez. And, um, yeah, when we played the original Three Houses Let's Play, um, I was one of the, I'm, I'm, I'm not one, like the only person who did this, but I did two things in that playthrough that I feel like kind of set me apart. One, I was one of the few playthroughs that picked uh, female Byleth, and I was, I think on day one, I may have been the only person who did Blue Lions, which is why people were able to find my playthrough, is other people that were looking for Blue Lions they found mine first, at the very least. So um, those were the things that kind of set me apart when that game came out, because uh, Blue Lions was the least favorite at that time. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be going with female Shez. She's probably the more popular of the two, according to my um, community, at least, because I put out a uh, a, a, a poll, and uh, basically female Shez was something like 54% of the vote. So it was pretty well split, but... I wonder how many people are going to be playing as male versus female, Shez. Hey, get up already! <sighs> mm, sorry, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Did your head spring a leak while you were napping? Better see if you can even remember your name. Uh, we're going to stick with the standard name. That just tends to be what I like to do in RPGs. I'm not really a self-insert. Um, I prefer to let the characters be their characters. Well, looks like there's hope for you yet. Also, she had dialogue. She might have, like, a straight-up character in this, more so than Byleth did. I guess we're gonna find out. Feign indignance. Back off, you sack of guts. Oh my I'm god. just resting up for the battle. Jesus, okay. Yeah, well, the battle's on our doorstep, so you're lucky I like you enough to wake you. You heard who we're up against, yeah? Gerald's mercenaries. <laughs> nice. Gonna be one hell of a fight, if true. Especially if the Ashen Demon is here. Don't like a smidge of what I've heard about that fella. Or was it a woman? Leave it to you to fumble the details. Did you even catch this Ashen Demon's name? Of course I did. It was... I... By the goddess, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Okay, I was wondering about this. I didn't know if they would just pick the opposite gender or not. Um, but we're gonna go all female all day, baby. Um, so yeah, female Byleth. Let's go. Hmm. 
We're gonna get ourselves some girl on girl violence. Because apparently we're gonna be fighting them. Yeah, that's it. Demon or no demon, our job is to fight and win. <laughs> you sound just like the captain. I know they paid up front, but come on. Yeah, who are we working for? Well, at least one of you has some courage. You've certainly come a long way since I plucked you from that mountain village. Okay, Galkami. But this battle is about more than just victory. Captain Barely. Gerald's team has a sterling reputation. Rumor has it they've never blundered even a single job. But once we put them to rout, we'll finally be the greatest mercenaries in all of Leicester. Okay, there we go. I, I was thinking that maybe this was Leicester Alliance, but I wasn't really sure. It just said it was, uh, you know, Alliance territory, but I didn't know if these were actually part of the Leicester Alliance. So this is probably before the main Enemy game. activity detected, Time -wise. Captain. Well, I mean, it's gotta be. Looks like we'll be fighting by moonlight. Mind you don't kill each other in the dark. It's not a maybe, it's a yes, that's what's happening. Wasn't expecting a fight so soon, but I guess there's nothing for it. You ready? Let's uh, try to lighten the mood. When this is over, we'll all greet the new dawn together. <laughs> you sure are a cocky little thing. But yeah, all right, I'll be there. Their auto advance is a little bit slow. Oh, we don't get the little running person. That's too bad. <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. Okay, here we go. We're up against We're in it. mercenaries. All right, movement and camera controls. L and camera. Yep. Continue moving to dash, so you'll automatically start running. Let's move out. Lasley and Drive Guess. Straight into their graves. Time to see what you're made of. Main mission start, team up with Getz and Lasley to defeat the nearby enemies. Okay, I was already doing that, Y and X. Um, yep, X is our strong attack. This is pretty standard fare for Musos. Uh, combine regular and strong attacks for combos. We're not putting up much of a fight. Are these guys new recruits or something? Guess this means I can mess with them a little. Myrmidon class action details. Every class has its own unique class action. Chez is currently a Myrmidon. Hold X to charge the class gauge and release it to perform a sweeping attack. You can move while charging. Press and hold X during a strong attack to reduce the charge time of the next class action. So wait, hold on, let me read that one more time. You can move while charging and you can press and hold X during a strong attack to reduce the charge time of the next class action. So in other words, if we combo two X's together, during a strong, okay, cool. So let's try that. So I'm gonna push just X and then I'm gonna go into a charge up after that. Nope, it didn't work, okay. So I misunderstood that, so. So I'm not entirely sure what that was trying to tell me because I wasn't able to recreate what it was saying. Yes, that's that. Okay, that's okay though. We'll figure it out. Hey, you! Clear out that group over there! Okay, defeat the mercenary captain. During battle, you'll be tasked with various missions. Main missions must be completed in order to win the battle. So there will probably be side missions as well, then. When an arrow is displayed over an enemy's head, press R to lock onto them. While locked on, the camera will stay focused on your target. Move R left and right to change targets. Okay, so in general, I'd say that the uh, movement of characters is slower in this game than a lot of other Musos. So most likely that's because of things like this. I'm guessing that guarding and dodging is going to be pretty important here. It's going to be more of a, you know, plan your moves rather than just mash. Uh, that's kind of the impression that I'm already getting. So B is dodge, ZL is guard. Okay. Let's do this! Okay, combat arts and magic. Press R to display quick menu one. With quick menu one displayed, press Y or X to use combat arts or magic. Cool. 
You cannot use the same combat art or magic multiple times in a row and instead must wait for a certain amount of time. Okay, so we've got cooldowns. Using combat arts and magic will reduce your weapon's durability. Okay, interesting. If its durability gets too low, you will be unable to use corresponding combat arts or magic. Durability will be restored at the end of the battle. Okay, that's kind of an interesting way of doing it. So they won't break necessarily, um, but we do have a limited amount of durability. Okay, Wrath Strike. Oh, there we go, we did it. We got X to combo, so it's basically like... If you get the timing just right, that's what it is. I was just missing the window before. Item drops, HP restoration. Pick up green tonics to restore your HP gauge. Yeah, they're being a little bit more meticulous in your attacks in this game. I'll take out the stronghold it definitely way, is a slower yeah? pace than there. a lot of other Mosos, but... Can't wait to wrap this up so we can all drown ourselves in ale. It means that it's going to be more skill-based. Which might be a little bit scary for me, who plays mostly turn-based RPGs, but... <laughs> okay, what is our goal right now? Is it wanting me to do these attacks? Class action. Okay, that's just our regular. Cool. Okay, let's just move forward. Okay, we missed the window on that one. There we go. That was it. Um, so it's going to be mostly about knowing where I am in my combo and knowing which animation. Was like That one takes a little bit longer to get into your end state. So, okay. Battlefields contain bases controlled by forces in the battle. These serve as an origin point for each side's soldier, so you can capture a base by defeating the base captain. Cool. Oh, that guy was gone. <laughs> Missed it that time, that's okay. Oh, directionality matters a lot. That's my bad. Okay, so we got that base. Let's go into the stronghold now. Main mission start, drain the stronghold captain's stun gauge and defeat them with a critical rush. So, at times a stun gauge will appear over an enemy commander's head. Continue attacking to completely deplete the gauge. Then press X to perform a critical rush. The stun gauge displays when you land certain attacks against the enemy or when the enemy performs certain moves. The stun gauge displays when hitting an enemy with offensive combat arts or magic, executing a perfect guard, okay, cool, an enemy is preparing to use combat arts or magic, an attack knocks an enemy back. Capture complete. The captain ran off ahead of us. Is she gonna be okay? Okay, let's try a perfect guard. Your fear and nope. Keep your eyes open. We still don't know if the Ashen Demon is here. Why? Go. Strongholds. Battlefields contain strongholds that are controlled by the various forces engaged in battle. Enemies and allies alike will slowly regain HP while in a stronghold under their own control. You can capture a stronghold by defeating the stronghold captain. Okay, so we gain health while we're in here. Item drops durability and restoration. Pick up purple crystals to restore your weapon's durability. Very cool, okay. So we will be getting those back sometimes. Those are our guys. The main force is here. 
We're saved. Now push, push the enemy back. Okay. About time a foe with some teeth showed up, but they still don't stand a chance against Burling's mercenaries. Defeat Gerald's mercenaries' main force. Okay, so it wants us to go that way. Now, isn't this a sight? You must be the infamous Ashen Demon. I can't wait to tear you apart. This will be the end of the Ashen Demon. No one can beat the captain. Oh, did that kill him in one hit? Damn, okay. So those are like beefy. Those are like really strong attacks. Alright, Gerald's mercenary, deploy reinforcements. Who's in trouble? Many of them. There's one thing to do about that. Warrior specials. When your warrior gauge is full, press A to unleash a warrior special. To fill the warrior gauge, deal damage to enemies, take damage from enemies, or pick up yellow tonics. Turn the pain, girl. I've got you now. Captain Berling died? The captain's dead. What are we gonna do now? Oh crap. Oh, here we go. Spy left. How's it going, girl? Nice to see you again. How you been? So this is the unemotional Ashen Demon Violet. Stand down or die. We're gonna stand. We're gonna fight. We're gonna the Oh, captain. I thought I got the guard. Oh. That did not go well. Why am I so scared? It's just one merc. Oh, that missed! Run while you can! Gets no! This can't be happening! I was getting my ass handed to me. Oh, damn. This is not going well. of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. Okay, interesting. We saw something like that in the beginning cutscene, too. Where did you get that power? Out of the way. Oh, she blocked. You're done. No idea. It's 
just what I need to bring you down. We're here to help. Uh oh. Okay, Byleth fell back. Ooh, we're breaking them a lot faster in this mode. Damn. We got all three of them in that one swing. Okay, we need some help. You're fighting like an entirely different person. Damn, I keep on uh, messing up my directionality on that. That's enough. We did what we came to. Everyone, fall back. What? Okay. Sorry, but this fight is over. Hey, wait! Why? Voiced by Lith. We've achieved our goal. Your job was to stop us, and you failed. <sighs> That's new, Another I like time, it. time, perhaps. Hey, we're not done here! Why, why am I... So tired. All right, are we going to meet this entity that helped us out? Huh? Where am I? Oh, good. You're awake. Not sure I would have been able to sleep at night with your <laughs> blood on my hands. What is going on? Am I dead? No, not yet. And you're not a good listener either. Did I not just say how pleased I am that you're still alive? Regardless, I am a being who exists on the edge of dreams and reality. You may call me Arval. Arval, huh? But for now, let me speak plain. You are slated to die. Oh, good. Right now, I'm the only thing holding your meager life together. And to be blunt, it's beginning to tire me. Um, thank you? <laughs> Oh, oh my, that's the first time anyone has ever shown me gratitude. And I must say, I like it very much. So like, there's a lot of um, things in the background, like they're, they're connecting him to those who slither. And I'm, I'm very curious about what they're gonna be doing with the story in this game. Considering that our main character is tied to this Arvel character who seems to be tied to those who slither in the dark. Hear me well. You are a crucial piece of this world, cyclical... Yeah, uh, no, this will never do. You're far too groggy to absorb what I'm saying. Definitely intrigued. For now, I needn't tell you how you'll get back on your feet. I need only convince you that you will. This must be a dream. Is this a dream? I remember collapsing, but then... You're half right, which also means you're half wrong, but full marks for effort. Still, the important thing is what you do after you wake. And what should that be? Recall, please, how the Ashen Demon bested you. Came within an inch of snuffing out your life. If you attempt the fight again the same way, you will reach the same conclusion. Yeah, they've got a bad auto this advance. This would force me to step in once more, which would be most annoying and also rather counterproductive, if I'm honest. All right, I'll become stronger then. Then I'll get stronger. The woman I am now will seem like a little kid in comparison. 
And one day, I will surpass the Ashen Demon. I swear it. Indeed. I really like Shez's design. My captain design. and comrades are dead. The company is finished. It's very so cool. there's only one thing I can do. Start over. Huh. I thought you'd be more sentimental. Did they not take you in? Care for you? Gold's the only thing that ever held us together. And death is something we're all too used to. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and if I'm remembering correctly, the base, the underground base that those who slither are in is actually in Alliance territory. Am I remembering that correctly? I never knew my real parents, and I lost the mother who raised me. Parting's just come easy to me, I guess. Which means that we're probably close to it, and I wonder if we're going to be joining them there. The best way to honor my fallen comrades is by training hard and growing even stronger. Then I'll crush Geralt's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon with them. That's what I'm going to live for now. Oh, but I like your spirit, though I expected no less from my partner in destiny. I'm sorry, what? We the baddies. Yes, I suppose that was a bit sudden. I should remember, take intimacy in smaller <laughs> steps. The point is that I'm here to guide you, and I promise to help you find the strength to see your dreams realized. Okay. The Dawning. Chapter Zero. Prologue. A chance Prologue. encounter. A chance encounter. Oh, I don't need to read it. I forgot. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a goddess, has existed for uncountable ages. Now, three ruling powers control the land. To the south is a region held for more than a thousand years by the Adrestian Empire. To the north is the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. And to the east, a league of nobles that bends no knee rules the Leicester Alliance. Though once consumed in war, these three powers now exist in relative harmony. Relative harmony. Remember that. When people start wars, this is a relatively harmonious Monastery, three kingdoms. Seat of the Church of Saros, the land's widely practiced faith, and a power that helps to maintain peace across the continent. Not far from the monastery, at the northern edge of the empire, is a small village called Ramayar, and west of this place stretches a forest where a lone mercenary awaits. Yeah, we remember Ramire. Some bad shit goes down in Ramire. Hey, wake up! Six months later. Ugh, how many times must we do this? Get up already! Huh? That's weird. I could have sworn I heard someone calling me. It's still dark out, though. Barnabas Woods, Empire Territory. Hello? Yes, I was calling you. Many times, I might add. Come on, I told you not to sneak up on me like that. As if I have a choice. Do you know how many times you would have died by now if not for me? I'll tell you. 22. <laughs> Is that all? The three times you leapt off a cliff to quote unquote get tougher <laughs> saved you. Those five mad attempts to dispatch a horde of monsters by yourself saved yeah, you. Yeah, I like Shez. <laughs> And tonight, despite my repeated warnings, you took the wrong path and ended up having to sleep on a bed of leaves in the middle of the woods. She's crazy and I like crazy. <laughs> Defend yourself. Hey, you could at least let me pick my own directions. Though I admit I might have taken a wrong turn. Finally, some humility. That's almost reassuring. I was starting to think you were incapable of self-reflection. At 
any rate, we all make a few mistakes along the way. And by we, I mean you. And by a few, I mean far, far more than average. <laughs> now then, with that out of the way, would you like to know why I've roused you from your mud-caked slumber? Actually, it's probably easier to show rather than tell at this point. Look over there, if you would. Hmm? Stop plowing ahead, Claude. You're going to get us lost. Okay. Lost, schmast. We've got it on Imperial authority that this is the way to the village. That's right, at the beginning of the game we were by Remire Village. I forgot that the game started at Remire and then returned to it later. But yeah, this is, um, interesting. So yeah, in this di alternate timeline, we may be the ones helping them out. Will we end up at the monastery? So are we kind of like, uh, taking Byleth's place? Hmm. Okay, I'm intrigued. Let's go. True, I said there was a village, but how could anyone know where it is in the thick of these mountains? I can't even say for certain where we are in all this gloom. Okay, new plan. I'll rely on my keen senses to navigate. Lucky for you, they're sharp as an arrow. Nice to see you three. Hold, both of you. Someone's here. Another bandit, perhaps? They're mistaking you for some common backwater thief. What cheek. Well, hold on there. I'm no bandit. I'm a mercenary. Well, that makes everything better. A bandit would be far less out of place in these woods than a sellsword. What brings you here? We've no time for an interrogation. Our pursuers are closing in. I don't know who you people are or what you want, but I think introductions can wait. You clearly need every blade you can find, and my pockets have been feeling awfully light lately. What do you say? Okay. Looks like we're getting into a battle. We're gonna help out uh, our three leaders here. Well, since you're here, do you mind stepping in and helping us chase off these scary bandits? So I always Don't get dual swords now. It. You'll receive plenty of gold if we survive that. Defeat the thief to clear the way for Edelgard, Dimitri, and Claude. Changing classes and new abilities. Shez changed classes and is now a flugel. And already feels a little bit faster, by the way. Changing classes and new abilities. Shez learned a unique ability. There are three types of unique abilities. Action, support, and tactical. During battles, press L plus X to check the class and unique abilities of the unit you are currently controlling. L plus X. Okay. L plus X. Flugel, level one. Unique action ability is Shadow Flash. Gain a chance to perform a few attacks that instantly defeat non-commander units. Chance increases with hit count. Press ZR to dash a short distance. ZR to dash a short distance. Okay, that's cool. And that's unique to the class. Mortal Coil, level one, support ability. When HP is at 90% or above, increase the warrior gauge fill rate. Okay, so it's a passive. Mercenary Creed, level 1. When ordered to attack, increases damage dealt to enemies by 30%. So I'm guessing that that means when you're not controlling this character. So tactical abilities are for when the character isn't the one being controlled, it looks like. Oh, cool, you hold it. Look at that. Does that cost any kind of meter? Oh, it does, over on the right, it does refill. So where it says ZR in the bottom right-hand corner, you see that goes down. So if you like spam it, gotcha. Fills up pretty quick though. Can't see where I'm at. Pick up a resource pouch and you'll acquire resources like ingredients and ore after the battle. The value of the resources depends on the color of the pouch. From best to worst, red, orange, yellow, green, blue.
Oh, there Costas. Kill them all. We remember Costas. Defeat the thieves and secure an escape route. Fighting for them now, are ya? You can die with your new friends! That implies that we know Costas. Classes and affinities, advantage icons, will be displayed on the minimap or above enemy commander's heads when you have an effect that offers you an advantage against them. Okay, so I'm guessing that we're at a disadvantage when the red arrow, blue arrow up, means that we have the advantage. That's the only thing that makes sense in my mind, so yeah. The more ad advantageous effects you have against the enemy, the more up arrows there will be and the easier it will be to decrease their stun gauge. The enemy will also get knocked back more easily when attacked. Advantage can be determined by class. Check class abilities on the status screen to see detailed information on which classes have a strong advantage against which enemies. Being a fighter class equipped with an axe, Edelgard has a strong advantage against lance-wielding enemies. I deal with things here. Okay, where do we see... class details with Y? Okay, sword wielding class exclusive to Shez can use magic strong against axes. Okay, so this is where we see it. Hold X during any strong attack to change the number of attacks. Okay, cool. Class action details, press X to launch an attack. The class gauge will change over time as you defeat enemies. Don't know what that means necessarily. When the class gauge fills completely, you'll add a sword icon to your stock. Max two. If you have two sword icons in your stock, press X to chain to change your attack. Watch this. Okay. Let me show so it's automatically switching us to our girl, Edelgard. Yeah, right. Okay, her timing feels a little delayed. She's gotta figure out her timing. And that's how it's done. Don't overstep, Edelgard. Two of the thieves remain. <laughs> nope, we were too late on that one. <laughs> too late on that one again. Well, I suppose my turn has arrived. Damn, I can't get the X thing. Use up or down to change the units you are currently controlling. You can also select a unit to control from the order screen. Dimitri is a soldier class with a strong advantage against sword-wielding enemies. So switch to him when fighting enemies with swords. Take a breath. Let's do this. this moment. I won't allow anyone to stop me. You're making me feel bad for the enemy, Dimitri. You'll have a thing for bleeding, Dimitri. Heal up already. Vulneraries. Press R plus B to use a vulnerary and restore your HP. Your available number of vulneraries will be refilled at the end of each battle. Okay, R plus B. I don't actually need to use it, so I'm not going to. But it was you or me. Just who are these My people turn, anyway? All three of them have crests. Units with crests can trigger crest effects under certain conditions. You can find details about crest effects by selecting details on the status screen and hovering over the crest name. So let's see, it's What's L plus X. Hovering over the crest name. Ash Lightning. Class details. Details, there we go. You gotta push X while in this menu. 20% chance to increase the damage dealt by combat arts in exchange for greatly increasing the weapon durability cost. Okay, now how about you? 25% chance to slightly increase the damage dealt by combat arts. Okay. Stop embarrassing yourself and stand your ground already! It's not over. Is it clog time? I think it's clog time. 
Take a breather. No problem. I got it. A weapon combat art or magic that is extra effective gives it a huge advantage against a specific enemy. When extra effective, you have three tiers greater advantage against the enemy, you'll deal greater damage, and the stun gauge displays upon all attacks. Cool, okay. Examples of skills that grant extra effectiveness. Effective versus armored units, extra effectiveness versus armored classes such as armored knights, effective versus cavalry, effective versus flyers, and effective versus monsters. So yeah, his bow will be effective against wyverns. If you say wyverns, get out. Just kidding, you can say wyvern. But don't you dare put in the comments that I'm saying it wrong because I don't give a shit. <laughs> I will say wyvern until the day I die. I will die on this hill. Flying classes such as Pegasus Knights and Wyvern Riders are vulnerable to the ability effective versus flyers. Switch your active unit to Claude, who has a bow equipped. I'm a master of strategy, but I'm not really used to being on the front lines. Damn, you make quick work of them, huh? I guess triple effectiveness uh, should matter. Well, lucky for me, I guess. It's gonna be more about the strategy in this game. Bandits have a firm hold on the central road. It would be wise to move through the forest and take down the strongholds as we go. Try and keep an eye on who we're fighting and make sure we've got the right person leading the charge at the right time. Order Edelgard, Dimitri, and Claude to see strongholds. Press plus during battle to issue orders. From here, you can use A to select units and issue orders. You can order a unit to move to a selected location, attack enemies and capture enemy strongholds, guard allies and defend allied strongholds, heal using vulnerabilities. You can use auto battle to determine the course of action for units you don't give orders to. Okay. All right, so. Let's try this. You obviously need to go here for the let's triple effectiveness. Goes. Um, let's see, can I zoom out? We will proceed as planned. Just trying to take a look at everything. We must strike. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. You have issued orders to all your allies. Use Shez to capture the remaining stronghold. You can switch between the orders and battle screens with plus. My turn. Okay, you're gonna go up to the one right up here. Break pots you find on the battlefield to receive gold or recovery items depending on the color of the pot. Green is probably health. Seize the strongholds. You got it. All right, take it down. Out of the way. That takes care of that. Why? What shoddy defenses. They'll be done before we know it if they're all like this. Oh, you already got it? Jesus, you guys are fast. We changing place? Take a breather. Watch this. Holy crap! The flag. Did they actually get them that fast, or did they just skip ahead f for the sake of the tutorial? That, to unravel that may defenses. have been it. Enough of this strategy nonsense! Get out there and tear up all the faces! I can't seem to get that X timing on any of these characters. Okay, how many thugs does this guy have working for him anyway? <laughs> I shall take the lead. <laughs> Aloise. Cool. Repent, foul bandits. <laughs> the Knights of Seros are here, and we'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Okay, so interestingly enough, I feel like um, these guys didn't start moving immediately afterwards, so they won't automatically start doing kind of like auto orders after they fulfill whatever orders they get. Um, okay, so we actually do this. need to. Let's see how this goes. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up. 
This battle is practically won if the knights have arrived. The knights of Saros! Not now! If I don't kill at least one of them, Brat, I'm finished! Watch out! They're gonna make a last-ditch effort to rush our position! Defeat Costas. He uses an axe, right? We will proceed as planned. Let's try this. Uh, where is Shez? What are you doing, Shez? Not a problem. Oh, look, on the map it shows you where pots are, too. I've got this. Select all out offensive from orders, and all available units will attack a selected target. This is a good option for when you simply want to overwhelm the enemy with force. Oh, whoops. Select Costas with the cursor, choose other with ZR. Okay. All-out offensive. We must strike. You have launched an all-out offensive of on Costas. Ability. Resume the battle and defeat Costas with your allies. Form ranks and capture those bandits. Quickly now. This is where you... Warrior Gaze Restoration. Pick up Yellow Tonics to restore your Warrior Gaze. Die, dogs! Yeah, I haven't been paying too close attention to our Warrior Gaze. <laughs> Awakening. When the Awakening Gauge is filled, press R plus A to awaken. Uh, this is going to take a while to get used to. All of these, like, R plus things is, uh, okay. I also need to figure out which gauge is our Awakening Gauge. Um, your unit will remain awakened until the gauge depletes. You can press R plus A to cancel the awakened state. While awakened, all attacks will make the stun gauge appear. The stun gauge will deplete quickly regardless of advantage. You'll receive bonuses based on the number of enemies defeated, and your HP will not reach zero regardless of damage taken. Cool. Okay. To fill the Awakened Gauge, pick up blue tonics, damage enemies, and execute a critical rush. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It'll always be on the right side for the A. Cool. Gotcha. And let's remember R plus B is, yep, vulneraries. Okay, cool. Press A while awakened or completely deplete the awakening gauge to trigger a warrior special and end the awakened state. You cannot switch to another unit while awakened. It appears I've hit my stride. I'll take now, my do turn. some real damage. Do you feel that power? Maybe you can channel it like you did in the other battle. Whoa. Yeah, let's get up there and use this. I'm actually going to wait a minute to use it. I'm afraid we must spare no mercy for you. Never should have taken this job. Remember who hired him. <laughs> Just keep in mind who hired him. <laughs> Is it over? Cool. The awakened state looks pretty badass. Okay, you obtain the following as an S rank and first time reward. S rank reward, White Verona. First time reward, Bullion. Battle rank and rewards. I'm guessing that the game just gave us an S rank for the sake of the tutorial. I don't know if we actually would have gotten the S rank. After battle, the battle rank will grade you based on your performance in battle. There are five ranks, S, A, B, C, and D. Higher ranks will net you more experience in gold. Your battle rank is determined by three factors, completion time, enemies defeated, and damage taken. 
Additionally, the first time you complete a quest, you'll receive a first time reward. You'll also receive an S rank reward the first time you receive S rank as your result. Now, I am not always super great at action games, so I don't know how many S ranks I'll actually get in this playthrough, especially playing on hard, but we'll see. Gotta level up. Very cool. Level three. Gotta keep aiming higher. All right, not bad bonuses. Defeat enemies to gain experience, leveling up your units and improving their stats. A unit's stat growth will depend on their own individual qualities. Hit points, a unit's max HP, strength, affects attack power, physical attacks, and magic attacks, uh, affects the attack power of magic attacks. Dex affects attack power of critical rushes, as well as critical hit rate. Speed uh, affects the duration of the awakened state and re recharge time for combat arts and magic. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Uh, luck affects the appearance rate of recovery items. Defense, physical attacks, um, resistance, uh, magic attacks, and charm, the drain rate of battalion's endurance. We haven't really explored battalions yet. And how they're gonna factor in. I won't let myself stop here. Okay, MVP gets bonus experience. Leveling up combat arts. Cool. Combat arts and magic will level up after they have been used a set number of times. This will make them stronger and reduce weapon durability loss when they are used. And class experience too. Cool. Any units particip participating in a battle will receive class experience post-battle. If this raises their class level, they may acquire new combat arts, magic, or abilities, and their weapon level may increase. When a unit's weapon level increases, they'll be able to equip more powerful weapons. They'll be able to attack more times consecutively. Okay, there's a lot going on. I like it. I like it a lot. The question is, is will you be able to change your weapon arts in the middle of battle? Probably not, which means that you probably pick two weapon arts in each battle. Um, and you probably can't change them mid-battle. But maybe you can. I guess we'll see. Acquiring weapons and resources after battle, you'll be able to check the components of weapon packs and resource, pa resource pouches you acquired in battle. If you've reached your inventory limit, excess items will be sold off automatically. Okay, stat boosting items. Give a stat boost to the selected unit. You can use stat boosting items by selecting storehouse from the pause menu. Okay, permanent increase, cool. White Verona and its resistance. Cool, some food, a venom stone, smithing stones, very cool. Plus 100% for the S rank on our gold. So we would have made 500 otherwise? Well, I'm guessing that, yeah. Hang Not on. really. It's You're a base seriously of seriously the Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance? Yes. And as the three of us are now in your debt, I think formal introductions are in order. My name is Edelgard von Hressbelk, Princess of the Adrestian Empire. I am Dmitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. That's our boy. And I'm Claude von Regan, grandson of the leader of the Leicester Alliance. Things looked grim there for a moment. Thanks to you, we put those bandits to flight. Bit of a miracle we ran into you out there, but hey, I'll take it. We're gonna play it cool. Oh, I'm sure the three of you could have handled the situation just fine without me. Chez is super cool. No need for false humility. We'd likely have perished if not for your help. Well, aren't they an unlikely trio? I wonder why those bandits were after them. The one on the right. That's why. Still, it's no concern of ours. We have our own plans to attend to. <laughs> now, collect your pay and be off before they get a wild idea and ask you to join them. Say, while I have you here... Can I join you? Do you know where I can find Ramire Village? No, no, okay. <laughs> I took a wrong turn somewhere along the way. So she's probably looking for the... Um, I'm looking for a band yeah, of hardened mercenaries. mercenaries who follow a man named Gerald. I hear rumors that's where they're camped. Actually, 
Remire might just be the village we've been looking for, too. That ring a bell, Edelgard? I don't remember hearing anything about Mercs, but... The name sounds correct, at least. Gerald's too smart to get smoked out by a bunch of rumors, but they're all I've got at the moment. In any case, we won't find our own two feet in all this dark. We should return to camp and get our bearings before... Hello there, house leaders. Hello, brave mercenary. <laughs> Aloise. Oh, gosh. We've mopped up what's left of those rascals. So what say we return to camp? And I insist you accompany us, good mercenary. Who, me? You heard the man. We'll wait out the night together and make for the village in the morning. It's a great plan, especially if you want to get paid, as we're a tiny bit short on pocket change at the moment. Getting paid is good. Yes. And those mercenaries you're looking for? Gerald's band, was it? They may be in Ramire village tonight, but there's no telling when they'll move on. If you come back to our camp, we have maps that may help you get one step ahead of them. This is clearly the wisest course of action. Not to mention that I would enjoy conversing with you further. But of course, the choice is yours. Okay, go with them. Ugh, why can't things ever be simple? All right, but just for the night. So I think that we might be an unwitting tool of those who slither in the dark. Um, at the start of the game, we saw um, through somebody's eyes being in like some kind of water chamber that looked like it was in those who slither's base. And I wonder if we're just like either some kind of creation or brainwashed or who knows what. But I think we're some kind of unwitting tool for them. And I'm not sure how that's going to play into things, but. Perfect. Then might I borrow you for a moment after we reach camp? There's a matter we must speak about. Nothing alarming, I promise you. Right then. So off we go. But um, if I may. Did I hear you mention a Gerald earlier? Ha. Huh. Yes, do you know him? My old captain. He heads up a pretty elite band of mercenaries, so I imagine his name has spread all over Fodlin by now. Mercenaries, is it? No. No, it can't be him. Can it? Well, I'll just have to meet this Gerald myself. After I've seen my duties through, of course. After all, if I don't finish my assigned tasks, I'm mission the point. Damn it. Damn it, Alex. Damn it. Yeah, give him the cold shoulder, girl. <laughs> Get it? Missing? Mission? Come now, this is good stuff. If you have to explain it, it's not good, Aloise. <laughs> That's our Aloise. Come on, let's get moving before he really gets going. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, pretty fast load. Hey, look at these peeps. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, they're here. They're here. People are here. Okay. After a battle, you'll be able to interact with your allies back at camp. Press A when near a unit to talk to them. I'm excited. Oh, God, I'm excited. Okay, so maybe instead of spending our time at the, um, you know, at the academy, uh, the monastery, I should say, um, it'll be different camps, I guess. <gasps> Leone, my girl, Leone. Okay, so right now they have their regular designs, their pre-time skip designs, it looks like. Cool. Hey! I can't believe how quickly those thugs set upon us. The class heads ran off. People were shouting orders. Oh, but it was a right mess. Say, who are you anyway? I don't remember. Hey, you're one of the surviving brigands, aren't you? Someone, anyone help! Greetings. Aloise told me all about what happened. Thank you for assisting the class heads. Had anything happened to the students, we all would have paid in heartache or worse. By the way... It reminds me of the previous term when a student who returned home from the academy went missing and, uh... Ah, forgive me, I'm rambling. Yeah, we know who that is. Yeah, we know who that is. And according to one of the trailers, we'll be seeing them eventually in the game. Hey! Welcome to our humble base camp.
I assume you are familiar with the Officer's Academy on the grounds of Garak Mach Monastery, yes? If I'm honest. The three young people you assisted earlier are the heads of the Academy's three houses, but you'll find other students, teachers, and even members of the Knights of Saros here at this camp. I fear you caught us in the middle of an annual outdoor activity carried out at the beginning of the Academy school year. That's concerning. But the situation became quite the mess when that band of brigands attacked us. I wish we could chat at length, but it seems the three class heads wish to speak with you. What say you? Alas, I cannot keep you all to myself. This is a great opportunity for you to bond with your rescuees. Let's see. Speak to the three house leaders. Toggle zoom? Oh, it's for the map. Honestly, the map it takes up a little bit too much real estate, in my opinion. Um, probably better for when you are going handheld, but I wouldn't mind having that map be a little bit smaller when you are docked. Okay. Ah, uh, Leone, you're one of my favorites, girl. Uh, this is the only character who was in every single route playthrough that I did, so obviously I have a soft spot for Leone. Love, Leone. Hi, girl, how you doing? Hey, aren't you that merc who helped out Claude and the others? So... I'm actually gunning to become a mercenary myself. That's why I enrolled at the Officer's Academy. Okay, we'll encourage your dreams. Right on. We like Leone. In that case, I hope we end up working together. Thanks. I'll give it all I got. I'll do it. I'm going to work myself to the bone so I can be just as strong as the captain someday. Yeah, we know who she's talking about. She's talking about Gerald. Support points. Uh, these signify the strength of a bond between two units. Units gain support points by giving appropriate answers in conversation, performing actions that make the other happy, or heading into battle together. I wonder if we're going to get adjutants again. Um, I'm guessing that the recruitment feature is going to be coming back. So, yeah. We'll see what we can do with that. Ah, it is you. Hello, Lorenz. Your hair is still bad. Never change. Actually, you should change. <laughs> you must be the famed mercenary of the woods who stepped in unbidden to aid Claude. As the noble representative of the Leicester Alliance, I must offer you my thanks. Press him for details. Uh -huh. Oh, I thought it was House Regan who represented the Alliance. <laughs> On the surface, perhaps, but the reality of the thing is quite different. The one who bears the future of Leicester on his shoulders is none other than myself. <laughs> After all, I am Lorenz Hellman Gloucester. <laughs> Alright, for a moment here, I'm gonna have to do some post commentary, because I accidentally messed up my um, recording. Hello? You're that mercenary everyone's talking about. Chez, was it? You're not attempting to curry favor with children of the nobility in pursuit of some nefarious aim, are you? We'll deny her claim. Nuh-uh. No, nope, just saw folks in trouble and helped them out. Didn't even know they were noble until afterwards. Hmm. I see, and do you think our mercenary friend is someone worthy of trust, Marianne? What? Um, Me? I am... Um... Well, either way, we need to be going. We're busy. Yeah, Lysithia is the mean girl. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, hey. hey, are you the mercenary who helped Claude out of that little jam? I heard you're super strong, so I was kind of picturing you as one of those huge bodybuilders or something. Laugh at the image. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, I'm just your average gal. Too Aww. average if you ask me. Talk about a letdown. And right about here is where I freaked out and was like, Hilda, why are you being a mean girl? She like turned into a mean girl here. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm just joking. You're pretty easy to talk to, so I couldn't help myself. Anyways, thanks, thanks for helping Claude out. All right, so she turned out to be just joking with us. <laughs> yeah, Lysithia is supposed to be the mean girl, not Hilda. Hilda's actually pretty sweet, um, just kind of lazy. Well, you know about the three houses at the Officer's Academy? I only ask because you seem a little bit dense. Uh, no offense. No offense taken, random, no-name student. Like, who does he think he is? Anyway, you've got the Black Eagle House, which is home to folks from the Adrestian Empire. Then there's the Blue Lion House, which is made up of individuals from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And what finally, there's thoughts? the Golden Deer House, which has people from the Lesser Alliance. Okay, I was muted for a section of that, so I'll probably be adding post-commentary um, to read the dialogue. My bad. 
Okay. Did you need me? Huh? Ignatz? Hmm. And Raphael. Hey, you're a new face. Are you a student from one of the other houses? Hmm. You must be the mercenary you've been hearing so much about. What was your name again? Tell him your name. Right on. Yeah, I'm Shez. Good to meet you. What house are you guys with? No problem. We're in Claude's house. Golden Deer. But we're just regular old common folk. Due to the nature of Lester, we have more students from the commoner class than the other houses. Please? I'd imagine you're a commoner yourself, what with being a mercenary and all. Okay, Knights of Saros. How may I help you? Thank you for cooperating with the heads of the three houses. It seems like the class heads served as decoys to draw out most of the feasts before finding an opportunity to flee. Thanks to that, the others managed to hold fast with only light injuries. Still, it would have been tragic had any of the heads been seriously injured or worse. I'm just grateful for all of your help. Okay. Alright. Um, let's see. What is it? Do you need me? Claude is not over here. Okay, gotcha. Oh, there he is. Hey there. Thanks. Hey friend, appreciate what you did back there. We'd have been in a world of hurt without you. Hmm. Oh, and regarding uh, compensation, Aloise told me not to pay you personally. I guess they want to handle it as a church thing? Sorry about that. I understand. Hmm. Hey, as long as I get paid, I don't care who's handing over the coin. <laughs> You're definitely a mercenary, all right. Speaking of... Have you talked with the others here at camp? How's that? I can tell you a little bit about the students in my Golden Deer house. All right, let's hear what you have to say about your, uh, about your group. Who, me? I'm more curious about you, personally. If you don't have anything better to do, I'd be glad to have you join us at Garrick Mach. Okay, Dust Cloud. Imbue attacks with wind. Slightly increase the awakening gauge fill rate when attacking enemies. When order to defend, increase damage dealt to enemies by 30%. 15% chance to recover own HP when landing a combat art. Oh, cool. That's nice. Um, looks like Claude can use Axe, Bow, and Fist. Preferred class, Wyvern Master. Have you met him yet? At first, I thought he was real serious and persnickety. But that image shattered pretty quick once I noticed him chatting up every girl in the monastery. Okay. 20% chance to slightly increase the damage dealt by offensive magic. Cavaliers is preferred class. Currently a soldier. Hild is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. Seems like she had a pretty cushy life growing up. Which means she's gotten into the habit of slacking off and making other people do things for her. Okay. Strong attacks to slightly increase damage and add. Okay. Advocate. I'm not going to read through every single one of these. Um... Just because it won't matter too much right now, but I will hover over each of them. Okay, 10% chance to land a critical hit. Preferred class brigand. He's a pretty friendly guy. Though it'd be nice if he talked about something other than muscles. And food. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. He's had it pretty rough. Here, Brawn. Goody basket. Unbending spirit. No crest. Preferred crass class brawler. Words are hard sometimes, guys. Don't ever treat her like a child. I made that mistake earlier and she nearly took my head off. But she's clearly the youngest out of this year's students, so I don't get what the big deal is. Just another pampered noble, I guess. Okay, curse expulsion. Unsought power. And virtuoso. Press 25% chance to slightly increase the damage dealt by combat arts. Currently a monk, preferred class mage. Ignatz likes the great outdoors. Definitely more than the rest of us, anyway. He's the second son of a merchant family, but says he wants to be a knight. He doesn't really seem suited for it, though. Maybe his parents are making him do it. Quite astute of you, Dreamer's Paintbrush. Watchful Eye. And Heart's Desire. No crest, he's currently a fighter, and his preferred class is an archer. Oh, Marianne? She's Margrave Edmund's daughter, but that's all I know about her. She doesn't interact with the other students at all. I'll admit, she intrigues me. 
Okay, we've got Snow Slip. At 300 hits and above, spawn falling ice orbs that deal ice damage to foes that intervals proportional to hit count. Whoa, okay. Animal Friendly and Reverence. Her crest may be in possession of an unknown crest. So mysterious, Maria. Now we know more about her, but yeah. Monk, preferred class priest. Leone wants to be a mercenary. I bet you two would have lots to talk about. You're both pretty frank, too. I just hope you're not as obsessed with saving money as she is. Huh, we are a lot alike. Maybe that's why I like Shez so much. Everybody knows that I like Leone if you watch my playthroughs. So. And she's not even close to most people's favorite, but I freaking love Leone. Careful study. Rivalry. And makings of a merc. She's a soldier, preferred class cavalier. All right, thanks, Claude. All right, let's go and talk to uh, our Black Eagles over here. Look who has arrived. Well, well, the mercenary who cut down the leaders of those thieves. I must say that was quite the capable display you put on back there. <laughs> I am Ferdinand von Eyre, legitimate scion of the Eyre family, the foremost house of the empire. There it is. He said it. He said it. Try to play along. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I think I've heard of you. You're one of the Empire's uh, big movers, right? What? You think you have heard of us? Why, I never. Now see here, my sellsword friend. We are House Iyer, proud eagles of the Empire. I am on it. Clearly, I must work harder as a beacon of the common folk so that they might cry the name of my family from the end of the continent to the other. Clearly. <laughs> are you nuts? Aww. Uh, hey, uh, Linhart, uh, wake up. Look, I get that you're tired, but we're leaving at the crack of dawn, remember? Hmm. The bandit attack stole my chance for sleep, so I must... Huh? Uh, who might you be? Keep it vague. Nuh -uh. <laughs> yeah, he would like. he would like that. Oh, I'm nobody, really. Just a passing traveler who got sucked into that whole bandit fight back there. Yes, well... Indeed. Well, I am Linhart, and it's just about time for me to go to sleep. Farewell. Whoa there. We already talked about this. He can't sleep when we're going back to Garrick Mock so soon. Uh, we did talk to you. Okay, who's back here? Dorothea. How's it going, girl? Hello. You must be the mercenary Edie told us about. I am Dorothea. You've heard about the Officer's Academy, right? Well, pretty much all of this year's students from Black Eagle House are here at the moment. Well, except for Bernadetta, which is sadly typical. She stayed behind because she was terrified of the idea that we might be attacked in the woods. Can't believe she ended up being right. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, sorry, didn't mean to ramble. Has anyone ever told you you're surprisingly easy to talk to? Thank you. I still have always preferred your design without the hat, but don't worry, we'll get there. Okay, guess we can't talk to that guy. Hubert, how you doing, Edgelord? How you doing, Edgelord? Hmm. Ah, yes, you are the mercenary we happened across. My thanks. While I harbor some reservations about you, the fact remains that you assisted Lady Edelgard. And for that, I offer my gratitude. Uh -huh. Accept his praise. Happy to help, although I wouldn't mind some details about the whole reservations part. Right. My thoughts are mine alone. You need not concern yourself with the matter. Schemes on schemes on schemes. Petra! Oh, I love you, Petra. I love you, girl. Listen. How you been? Listen. Oh, look who's in the background. <laughs> we'll go and talk to her in a minute. Hello, I am called Petra. I am finding you to be quite fascinating. Give your name. Right on. Double up, look at that. Hey there, I'm Shez. I'm technically a mercenary, though I guess right now I'm kind of just a drifter. That has much difficulty. I do not have understanding. Where are you drifting to? Yeah, I don't uh, know. Through the world? You know, just sort of kicking around with no real end goal. <laughs> Fascinating. Hi, Manuela. Oh, no. <sighs> I've healed so many people today that I never want to look at, ban at a bandage ever again. And who do we have here? No, wait, don't say. Let me guess. Got it. You were a brave vagabond knight who appeared to boldly protect me from those brigands earlier. Roll with it. Right on. Oh yeah, that's that's me, all right. Oh, and the name Shez, by the way. Oh. You're very kind to go along with my little Jake. 
Well, hi. Well then, I am Manuela, a professor at the Officers' Academy, a doctor, and also a songstress of a world-renowned opera company. Though I have worked myself to the very bone today, so right now I'm merely a sad and lonesome woman. Oh, hey, what's up? Asshole. We don't like Hanuman around here. Um, if you want to know more about that, you can just go ahead and watch my tier ranking. Uh, you can find it in the, uh, at the very end of the ultimate playlist of Fire Emblem Three Houses. We don't like Hanuman. I am Hanuman, a professor at the Officers' Academy. I heard tale of your recent exploits and wish to express my thanks. Oh, and on another matter, do you possess a crest? Oh no, if we ask him, he's going to be thrilled that he can talk about it. Ask him what a crest is. Mm. Crests are some magic noble thing, right? All in all. Listen well now, crests are a power, power that dwells in the blood, and they are passed down through the generations from parent to child. Those with crests may excel at magic, or perhaps have the ability to wield powerful weapons known as hero's relics. When I heard about what you did, I thought perhaps you were in possession of one. But seeing your reaction, I imagine you never looked into the matter. Hmm. If you were to come to my residence at the monastery, I could take the time to conduct a full investigation if you'd like. Please, please All right. Follow. Your turn, Edie. Thank you. There you are. Thank you for your assistance in the previous battle. I'd like to discuss your future if you have a moment. If you find yourself with no place to go after we accomplish our objective, I'm hoping we might hire you on with the Empire. What do you think? I can promise you'll be handsomely paid, including the work you did today. So, what say you? Why do you want to hire me? Um, I'm not usually hired into service by people quite so high up in the food chain. Why the special attention? <laughs> I value your talent now that you've had the ability to see it firsthand. On another matter. By the by, have you spoken with the others here in camp? If you'd like, I can tell you a little bit about the students in my own house, the Black Eagles. Well, you're certainly not timid. You do realize you're addressing the heir to the Imperial Throne, yes? Still, I suppose I admire that sort of freedom. It must be nice not to have your lot in life decided for you. Solar prominence. Imbue attacks with fire. Interesting. Okay, Emperor's Prestige. And Ambition. For Crest, we've already seen that. She's a fighter, and her preferred class is an Armored Lord. Hubert of House Vestra is my attendant. His family is unusual in that they're noble, but lack territory of their own. Hubert is deeply loyal to me, and you can trust him completely. In fact, I imagine he's quite grateful for what you've already done. Dark Conjuration. Perception. And Officer's Duty. No crest. He's a monk, prefers mage. That's Dorothea Arnault. She's an up-and-coming songstress in a famous imperial opera company. Or she was, at least. For some reason, she abandoned her musical career and enrolled in the Officer's Academy. She has a very magnetic personality, which I'm sure you'll see. Okay, Prismatic Resonance, Songstress, and Center Stage. She's a monk, prefers mage. Have you spoken with Ferdinand? One conversation will explain him far better than I can. <laughs> He's the heir to an influential house, which drives him to excel. But he can be quite the handful sometimes. Maximum Ambulation. 300 hits and above gain an increase in speed proportional to hit count. Okay, cool. Name drop. <laughs> That's hilarious, name drop. Yeah, yeah. Noble Pride. Okay, his crest, 10% chance to land a critical hit with combat arts. He's a soldier, prefers cavalier. One of our classmates usually stays holed up in the dormitory instead of coming on these assignments. Her name is Bernadetta. If you bump into her, don't be surprised if she screams and runs away. Accurate. That's sort of her thing. Personal space. <laughs> you create a zone of ice that increases critical hit rate, has a long cooldown time. She just wants people to stay away from her. Persecution complex. And master of concealment. Minor crest of index. 10% chance for a combat art to be ready again immediately after use. That's cool. So no cooldown. 
She's a fighter, and preferred class is archer. Kaspar is the second-born son of a great and noble house. But as he's not the heir, you might say he joined the academy to make his own way. War and fighting are his sole pursuits, so I bet the two of you will get along just fine. One for the books, Fists of Justice, and Born Fighter. No crest, preferred class brigand. Petra isn't from the Empire. She's the granddaughter of the King of Brigid, which is an archipelago situated off our western coast. You'll find her a quick study, a gifted fighter, and endlessly curious. But always come prepared to talk, because she'll definitely want to pick your brain. Okay, we got Windstorm, Hunter's Boon, and Outland Technique. No Prests, Preferred Class Thief. Surely you know someone like Linhart. He's as bright as they come, yet just as lazy as well. That's simply how he is, though. I can't force him to apply himself, but he'll come around, most likely. Easy breezy. Catnap. And Logician. He has a crest of Seth Lane. 25% chance to slightly increase the healing power of recovery magic. Okay. Monk, preferred class priest. And now we're going to go on to the Blue Lions. Yes, indeed. What did you need? I can't believe they talked me into going on this trip. It'll be fun, they said. Nothing ever happens. And then bam, disaster and danger everywhere. I thought I was going to die out there. I was swinging my spear at everything that got within range, and then some girl from the officer's academy showed up and led me to safety. I tell you, kids these days are graceful and strong. Nothing like the useless punks from my day. Are you gatekeeper? Gatekeeper better be in this game. Just saying. <laughs> Alright, Blue Lions, let's go, Sylvain. Huh? Well, I've got to say, I never thought the person who helped Dimitri would be so... stunning. <laughs> I'd love to invite you out for a meal sometime, just as thanks for all you've done, of course. Yeah, Don't already be flirting. ridiculous. And Ingrid's already on his ass about it. Sylvain, you're speaking to His Highness's benefactor. Stop trying to pick her up like a common floozy. Can you we tell speak him. a moment? Oh, and I don't believe I got your name? Give your name? Hmm. The name's Shez. Keep it in mind in case you ever need a heavy hitter. <laughs> I'll do just that. And while it's unfortunate we're parting ways here, I suspect we may have a chance to meet again in the future. Not good. Shame we don't have the time to get to know each other a little better, though. Nuh-uh. And spare me the side eye, Ingrid. I'm just letting my heart speak for me here. The Perpetual Flirt. How's it going, Ash? Hey there. Oh, you must be that mercenary I've been hearing about. I'm Ash, and I'm a student at Garib Mox Officers Academy. Do you know about the Academy? See, there are three houses, each based on where a person is from. Yeah, I've heard of it. Hmm. Oh, I've heard of it all right. One of my employers a little ways back uh, couldn't shut up about how we'd gone to the place. Right. Oh, I could see that. Lots of influential nobles and royals from all over study at the Academy. I actually find it pretty daunting to always be surrounded by the rich and powerful. Hmm. It's a lot easier to talk to someone like you. Let's see. I assume you are familiar with the Officers' Academy. On the grounds of Garrick Mock Monastery, if yes? I'm honest. Okay, so we did talk to you. That's concerning. What say you? It's you! We've held these kinds of outdoor activities countless times, but I've never seen anything like this happen. Plus, we've got three high-ranking noble children here, so the guard was more than double that of a usual year. To think they were nearly killed by some pack of base brigands. It's a real mess, make no mistake. And now I have to find a way to explain it all to Lady Rhea. Ah. Ah, it's you. You're that new merc, right, Chez? The boar says you had some skill. You'll have to give me a demonstration before we head out. Who the boar is? Let's ask who the boar is. We know. 
I'm sorry, the boar? <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's not your problem. Oh, Annie and Mercy. I love yeah. you too. Oh, you're that mercenary. It's great to meet you. I'm Annette, and this is my friend Mercedes. Hello there. It's nice to make your acquaintance. Have you already spoken with the others? Hmm. Most of them, yeah. You've got a real cast of characters here. The thing is... Well, isn't someone a go-getter? That's right. We haven't even talked to everyone yet, but that's because we only just started the Officer's Academy. You probably know them better than we do. God, I love you too. <gasps> but look who it is. It's the man, the legend himself, Daydu. We love Daydu around these parts. If you don't like Daydu, get out. Get out. We love Daydu here. Blaspheme. My thanks. You assisted His Highness and have my gratitude. I will see this debt repaid. <laughs> Cracking a joke to Daydu. Should we try? I have to try. Well, in that case, you can pay me back with a round of sparring. Let's see what you're made of. <laughs> As you wish. I see. To be honest, I'd like to treat you to a meal, but we lack the time. Dude, did he just hit on Chez? Oh, oh, all right. All right, bro. Dude's got moves, too. Dude's got moves, too. All right, he's probably not hitting on her. He's just actually a good cook, but... Chez is taking that as being hit on. You have my thanks. Let me begin by first conveying my gratitude to you. We are in your debt, Chez. Speaking of which... Also, I examined a map earlier, and the village where you are headed seems to be a little more to the east. Show surprise? Oh, you're kidding. Wait, east? Really? I could have sworn it was west. Well, thanks for the tip. I nearly got myself lost in the woods all over again. No. Uh, don't be hard on yourself. This forest lacks the markers to easily find one's bearings. It's little wonder you floundered with no one to guide you. In any case, you should be able to reach the village with no trouble by merely walking towards the dawn sun. By the way... You'll be staying until sunrise, yes? I hope you'll take the opportunity to converse with the others here. Of course, now that I've sprung the idea on you so suddenly, you'll likely find yourself at a loss as to whom you ought to speak to. How about this? On that note, I would be more than happy to give you an introduction to any Blue Lions House students. <laughs> Your interest flatters me, but I'm afraid I find myself unsure of where to begin. Perhaps I'll have thought of a topic when next we speak. But, uh, you're leaving for that village soon, aren't you? All right, here's the man himself, Dimitri. Azure Lightning, imbue attacks with lightning, very cool. King's Might. Slightly increases the damage to an enemy HP and stun gauges when sending them flying. And Rain, when ordered to attack, increased damage dealt to enemies by 30%. Minor Crest of Blathed, 20% chance to increase the damage dealt by combat arse in exchange for greatly increasing the weapon durability cost. He is a soldier, and his preferred class is High Lord. Dudu hails from the land of Dusker. Perhaps you've heard of it, he tends to keep to himself. But he possesses one of the kindest hearts of anyone I know. I'm proud to call him my... Vassal. Speak to him, and you'll see why. We love Daydu. Hold the button when performing strong attacks or trigger blasts on impact that deal minor damage to enemy demolisher. Staunch shield. Taking hits while guarding slightly restores the warrior gauge. Perfect guards restore the gauge even more. Very cool. Um, I have not gotten off a of perfect guard yet, I don't think. We're going to have to start working on that. When ordered to guard, reduce, reduces damage received from enemies by 30%. He is a fighter, and his preferred class is Armored Knight. Felix is the son of Duke Fraldarius. He has a sharp wit and even sharper tongue. But he's a good person at his core. I can attest to that. Yeah, I think you like him more than he likes you, Dimitri. He has always admired strength above all else in a fighter. I imagine the two of you will make fast friends. Intense Velocity. Dodge in the middle of an attack to increase speed by one tier for a period of time. Will reach maximum speed after seven dodges. Cool. Lone Wolf. When no battalion is deployed or if battalion endurance is depleted, slightly increases damage dealt to enemies. Okay. 
and Eager Blade, when ordered to seize, increases damage dealt to enemies by 30%. Crest of Fraldarius, 20% chance to slightly increase the damage dealt by strong attacks. He's a Myrmidon, and preferred class is Mercenary. I only first met her here at the Academy. She seems a gentle soul, with great inner strength. That is the truth, Dimitri. From what I understand, she has traveled far and wide throughout both the Empire and the Kingdom. Perhaps that explains her demeanor. Radiant Love. Attacking very slightly fills the unique ability gauge and gradually restores HP. When the gauge is full, press ZR to damage enemies and heal allies. Oh, that's kind of cool. Live to Serve. When magic is used to restore an ally's HP, allows the caster to also recover half the amount of the restored HP. Devotion. When ordered to defend, reduces damage received from enemies by 30%. Minor Crest of Lama, Lama, Lamine. I don't know how to say that one. Lamine? Lamine? I don't remember. 10% chance that weapon durability will not decrease when using recovery magic. That is very cool. Monk, preferred class priest. In the far south of Fargus lies a manor by the name of Castle Gaspar. Ash is the adopted son of that castle's lord, Lenato. He's an honest boy, well deserving of our trust. I'd like to get to know him better someday, should the opportunity arise. Wind Stance. While holding ZR, use L to create and place a zone of wind. It has a long cooldown time. Okay, lockpick. Allows the unit to open chests without a key and unlock special gates. Also grants a very low chance of increasing items dropped by fallen enemy commanders. That sounds like it could be very useful, honestly. And Knight's Oath. When ordered to seize, reduces damage received from enemies by 30%. So he doesn't even need to be a thief to get lockpick, which is which was super cool in Three Houses and hopefully is uh, useful here as well. He's a fighter, and his preferred class is Archer. Annette is the hardest worker in the entirety of the Blue Lion House. She is truly brilliant. And the absolute sweetest of sweethearts. I could stand to learn from her single-minded devotion, if only a little. <laughs> Courageous. Attacking very slightly fills the unique ability gauge. When it is full, press ZR to temporarily strengthen yourself and surrounding allies. Cool. She's got kind of a uh, support ability. Overachiever, defeating 30 or more enemies with a single warrior special grants a small increase in damage dealt to enemies for a period of time. Ray of Sunshine, when ordered to defend, increases damage dealt by to enemies by 30%. Alright, Minor Crest of Dominant, 10% chance that weapon durability will not decrease when using offensive magic. She's a monk and prefers mage. Sylvain is the son of Margrave Gautier. You may have already noticed, but... He's something of a womanizer. That may be putting it lightly, in fact. <laughs> True. But despite his apparent indifference, he possesses great cunning and is quicker on his feet than anyone else here. I've known him long, so I'm well aware. You've got to be kidding me. Gordian Stroke? Gordian Stroke. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing here. Uh, at 300 hits and above, increase attack range and damage dealt proportional to the hit count. An adept flirt. When an ally of the opposite sex is nearby or is the unit's adjutant, slightly increases the awakening gauge fill rate. Okay. So we need to adjutant women with him. Gotcha. Valiant bloodline. When ordered to attack, reduces damage received from enemies by 30%. Uh, minor Crest of Gautier, 25% chance to slightly increase the damage dealt by combat arts. He is a soldier and prefers Cavalier. Ingrid is the daughter of Count Galatea, and she is far more gallant than your run-of-the-mill knight. She has ever been straight-laced and diligent, even when we were but children. It is not an uncommon sight to find her scolding Sylvain for his indiscretions. I do like their relationship quite a lot. Icy Plunge. Enemies sent flying explode and deal ice damage to a narrow area. Heaven Sent. Slightly increases the warrior gauge fill rate when attacking enemies launched into the air. And Sworn Lance. When ordered to guard, increase damage dealt to enemies by 30%. Minor Crest of Daphno. 25% chance to slightly increase the damage dealt by combat arts. 25% is not bad, actually. Soldier. 
Um, preferred class is Pegasus Knight. And there we have it. Looks like Dawn's almost here. Tell Aloise you're heading out. Okay. Well, we're about an hour and 40 in, and uh, we're going to end the episode here. We have met, um, well, most people. Um, clearly, Bernadetta wasn't here, but, you know, she's... She couldn't be here, you know? We didn't get to see her, but we'll see her soon, I'm sure. Um, all right, so we're going to end the episode here. If you enjoyed this, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, and if you're new, hit subscribe. So thank you all for being here, um, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Ivan K, Len, HLLJ, Knife Namase, Caleb Adkins, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.